Hello Ruth, how's it going? It's a very important day here in Mullingar. Tell us a little bit indeed. about it. It is indeed, Ray. Good to talk to you uh, and all your, your viewers and listeners. Uh, this is Culture Night, which is actually an event being held all across Ireland. It's been going on for many years now and it's a, it's a celebration of culture in all its forms. Uh, the visual arts, music, literature. And in Mullingar this evening there's an art exhibition going on just behind me here in the, the Great Hall in Column Barracks. There's a music event coming up here later on just across in the, the former guard room there, now the Yo-Yo Cafe. Uh, there's another art exhibition I think going on down the town at the Pasta Bella restaurant. And uh, at seven o'clock this evening, I'm going to be doing a walking tour of Mullingar celebrating its cultural heritage. I'll be starting at Joe's statue in the Market Square, uh, talking about the musical heritage, including uh, the Coltus Coltori Aaron and the Swarbricks and many, many others. I'll also be talking about the literary heritage of the town, including James Joyce, who was here in 1900 and never forgot the place. Uh, I'll be also mentioning visual artists like Patrick Graham and Larkin Walsh uh, and celebrating all of the aspects of the arts in Mullingar. One question for you Ruth, the Westmead Bachelor, the words of it, where did it come from? Can you tell me? Yes, so it was originally written by the singing postman from out Castletown, uh, the uh, late Billy Whelan, whose son Seamus sadly passed away recently. And of course, he's uh, the singing postman is now immortalised along with James Joyce in a mural up on the wall of Chambers uh, pub, which is great to see. And the, of course, uh, Joe made the song very, very famous. Uh, and as well as that, some of the lyrics were taken from James Joyce. There may have been, yes, I, I think there were the words there from Joyce and it was also, I think, partly inspired by a real story uh, of back in 19... 39 or thereabouts, the then uh, commissioner of the county council, the county council had been dissolved for they had a, co a commissioner running the place and he decided to get rid of bachelors because they were costing the council too much. So he, he wanted to have all the bachelors uh, married off so that we moved out of their cottages and he, the, the council became almost like a dating agency. Women are invited to send in photos, come up and see, get a farm in Westmead, marry a bachelor in Westmead. So it was a real, there was actually a real story and it was turned into a play. Uh, by Tony, the, Dr. Tony Stanley, who was a major figure in cultural life in this town for decades, uh, and it became a very, very popular play. Actually, Troubled Bachelors toured all over Ireland, won a lot of awards, and in the 1960s, the late Leo Daly, another great figure in Mullingar's cultural history, he actually turned it into a musical, which uh, was down in. The, what was then the county hall so it's, it's well, quite a famous story all i can say is ruth you're a fountain of knowledge and uh, of the town of mullingar we wish you the very best today and uh, thanks for saying hello to us here in this channel thanks very much ray